Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this Second Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Yeah, it secretly will bring in damnable heresies, man. All right, but you've seen things like that. You know, camp, whole camp splitting up, flat earth, flat earth camp splitting apart uh, because of, because of that, man. You know, got, you got brothers that are just hanging out tough, and then hey, look at this. You see this, and then oh man, that's dang, that's, that's deep, and then. They, yeah, that cancer so starts. Bro. That cancer starts spreading. Man, that's that's crazy. Because if we start talking about some sort of shit, I'll be like, "You're <laughs> fucking crazy." I gotta go home. <laughs> Flat Earth. That's that's man. That's 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 heavy. You know what? I got a script on that, man. Can I get it, Bob? Yeah. Show? This Galatians, chapter one, verse verse six. I marvel that ye are so soon removed. From him that called you into the grace of a Mashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of a Mashiach. Yeah, which is not another, because there is no other gospel. There is no other doctrine. The scriptures are the scriptures, man. You can't change them. You can't say, well, this is my understanding of the scripture, but this is my understanding of the scripture. That's madness, man. The Lord is not the author of confusion. All right, so there's not, okay, yeah, the, the, the scriptures are manifold, okay, but it all speaks the same, it, it don't contradict itself, man. Okay, it all speaks to the same, to the same uh, end. Yeah, one more verse about the truth. Go ahead. Uh, but though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed, man. Go ahead. As we, as we said before, so say I now again. It says it again. Go ahead. If any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. Yes, so that guy's cursed. Go ahead. So Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20, it says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Is of any private interpretation. Go ahead. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's why you got to have faith. You got to believe what these words say, because what, what did they say? Who wrote the Bible? Yeah. Man wrote the Bible. No. Holy righteous men wrote the Bible. They were moved by the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. They were moved by a higher power, man. But a lot of these people don't even have the concept of the word holy. They're <laughs> separate. You know, they don't even probably even know what it means. A separate spirit goes from the African. Yeah, old, holy men. Meaning, men that are separate from this world. Men that are, are, are following, not after their own ways, but after the ways you have by Shemir outside. That's how you become holy. You don't follow after your own ways. You follow after ways, after the ways of the Bible. That's how you become holy. That's how you get washed. That's how you get cleansed. That's how you get baptized. All right. That's how you get the Holy Spirit, man. Because you get the Spirit of the Scriptures, man. You get the Spirit of Yahweh by Shem To the point where this, this, that's all. That's your life. That's your whole life. You don't care about it. There's uh, Revelation 22 and 18. For I testify unto every man. There's Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Now does that say he that is unjust? Keep harping and, and yelling and screaming and, and, and doing your, your best and your damnedest to try and convert them to the truth? Is that what it said? It said, I, 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 have to, I have to make you see. No, man. 
The Lord ain't thirsty for nobody, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I think I heard the brother in the bay say that too. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, either uh, Monotazak, maybe. Yeah. Brother of South Carolina. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his works shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh the lie. I, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star, and the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Yeah, whoever's a thirst come, right? It didn't say go around like a damn weirdo trying to give everybody water. Just like this, that, that's a prime example. Oh, I was example. just thinking, man. Go ahead, say what you're going to say. Hey, this asshole talk. There's more people over there. Hey, but it's the spirit that we're right here. And it's the spirit that a lot of the camps are where they're at. Because the doors of mercy are being closed, man. <laughs> That's how I see it. Well, I mean, you think about it. What is the, the, it says to build up the tabernacle of David. And, and who's mainly watching the videos? Yeah. It's just us. It's just believers that are watching the videos. Believers and scoffers, man. Really, the unicorn is good. What does it say? Will, will, right, what does it say? It says, will you uh, uh, let her carry your burden? Will you trust her to carry you, carry, carry the heavy load, basically? You know? Really, if you believe in Yahweh you know, you don't, uh, uh, you don't got to be uh, in some metropolitan area, man. I mean, yeah, it says to go to the cheap place of Concord, but look at where we're at. This is a cheap place called Rosalie. This is a cheap, that's what I'm saying. Station, train station right here. But what yeah. I, my point is, is this isn't a major city. It's not. You know? And if the Lord wants somebody to come across this, somebody, they're going to come across this, man. Why? Because, uh, uh, the scripture, what well, does the scripture tell you why? Yeah, ultimately, I mean, you know, brothers, a lot of brothers was in, was in small towns, okay? I was in uh, Merced, you know, this brother was uh, fucking Whitman, you know? We were all in small little fucking towns. There was no prophets out there preaching the word. We were, we were woken up finding uh, the, the men a great millstone through the spirit of Bar Yal Bao Shimei Al Shai because of the unicorn, man. He set up the unicorn on the internet for these videos to be published upon freely. By the highways and byways, the World Wide Web, the highway of all highways, man. It just so happens we were searching for answers and found the truth, man. Found down the YouTube, the unicorn. There was no brothers out there pushing the word. And then the spirit came on us to push the word, you know? I think brothers woke up uh, in Europe. Yeah. Australia, Africa. Yeah, Africa. You got brothers in Kenya. Nobody, nobody flew. brothers in Great Yellowstone flew to Australia. Or to, or to Brazil. Anywhere. Or Mexico. You know, Puerto Rico. Ain't no brother, brothers out there. You know? Well, there's brothers now, but there wasn't before, is what I was trying to say. They got woken up. The spirit uh, 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 compelled them to push this word. So what? More brothers could come because according to Matthew 24, and I believe 14, it says, this word, this gospel, shall be preached in all the world, and then shall the end come. There's no way in hell me or this brother or this brother or that brother can physically march to every city, every town on the planet and preach this word. Other than 
via the unicorn, man. Hey, if you're spiritual, you understand that there's going to be a time when everybody's going to be looking for us. Yeah, they mostly ain't living. You know, they're going to be looking for us to try to receive what was what was given unto them, man. What they were denied, man. Then they're going to be like, they were telling the truth. No. How many people do you think is out here that come, they drive by, they see us, when, when they when they see, like, things happen in this clearly of the Bible, like, dang, this, this looks like something right out of the Bible, man. This is biblical, man. How many people you think are going to start searching for the truth? That's when things are really going to start picking up, man. I mean, shit, look how people panic when there's a disaster. You know, I could already see it. Because what does it say in Matthew 24? That many shall come in my name, right? And we're in the beginnings of sorrow. When you start seeing, when it's so clear that biblical prophecies are coming to pass, you're going to have false prophets out here in the droves, man, speaking all kinds of matters. But you already got a grip. <laughs> they're going to be preaching peace. So all is going to be peace. You know what's heck of crazy too is uh, it's already being it's already being said and done, man. Because now in a lot of these horror movies, they're posting Bible scripts, man. Yep. The movie Us, they're posting Bible scripts. Yeah, man. This is a cold cut. This is a cold one, bro. <laughs> That's a cold one to you two thirds, man. I had to look it up. I was like, oh, me too. Oh, I was at the movie theater. Oh, 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 I shit. looked it up. Oh, I looked it up at the movie theater, bro. I was right there with my little watch when it first came out. I was like, oh shit. I started getting laughter. I was rejoicing, like, man, these people don't fucking know, man. Hey, bring it up. It's hard. Just bring it it's up. hardcore. That's a hardcore scripture, bro. Yeah. I did a video on it, you know? Man, Jeremiah 11, 11. That's right. Jeremiah 11, 11. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Damn. That's heavy. <laughs> though they shall cry unto me. And that was what the whole movie was about. Like, them, they was trying to kill them, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, and in that day, man, people are actually going to be crying out, remembering the name, man. You know, trying to remember the name. Like, what's that? Not, not everyone that saying, Lord, Lord. Man. No. But he that doeth the will of my Father. See, that's the thing. It's like, but he that, it says it plainly right there. He that endures to the end, the same as we say. He that doeth the will of the Father, him will I save. All right, the many that, will, that are not going to be saved are those that are not doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Those that draw back, those yeah. that are claiming to be in the truth, but they don't got a serious mind. They're just doing whatever the fuck they want to do, hating their brother, treating other, treating brothers bad. You know, being wicked, doing all types of bullshit. Those are the ones, man. Yeah, because like the brother quoted it, it says, "They that endure until the end." The, the end doesn't come until you're in a chariot. Because when all hell breaks loose, that's going to be that real trial of your faith, Jacob's trouble. What have what have you been doing this whole time while you were in the truth? Because you're going to be tested on a super high level, man. You're going to be hungry. The Lord's going to test you with, with abominable foods being front, put in front of you. Demons trying to jump on you to have you eat your own family. You're going to be tested, man, at a super high level. Then Esau might grab your ass up take you to a concentration camp and tell you, hey man, I'm going to fucking kill you unless you get this chip. And that, that, that the scripture called that the hour of temptation, man. The ultimate test, man. Which, if you're not part of the elect, you're not, you're not going to make it through that. But if you're sincere and you've been doing everything that uh, brother's been saying, the boss has been saying, what the spirit has been saying, more than likely you're going to endure, man, unto the end. But the end isn't until you're up in a chariot or you uh, are, a, are, a, are, a, are a reasonable sacrifice, man, a martyr. Or you're up in that chariot. Either way, you're going to be up in that chariot if you're up the elect. You know? I was just going to say, as the scripture says in Samuel, better is to obey than to give sacrifice. Give sacrifice. I pray not. I pray not for them that are in the world. Okay. But you should take them out of the world. But, but here's the thing. We don't care about these people, man. The Lord already has other brothers out here, man. We're worried about, this is all I'm worried about. 
you know, and, and doing these videos, maybe other brothers watch my videos, but really, it's about building each other up, man. We already, we already have a small sanctuary. Uh, we, we don't need no, we really don't need no more than this, you know. It's whatever the Lord wants, because it's not even, it's not our church. No. Like the scriptures say, uh, you, you know, you, you, uh, 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 you're the Lord's building. Yeah, but as the scriptures also say, uh, uh, judging another man's servant. You know, we we all belong individually to Yahweh, Yahweh Shine. It's not our church. We're not looking for members. But it's the Lord. If the Lord wants a member with us, He can bring it. It's whoever the Lord wants. That's why we're not out there where there's all kinds of foot traffic. Now, we were out there before. We chances are we might go back there. But as of right now, this is where we're at. If the Lord wants to change that, we'll be somewhere else, man. It's all up to what Yahweh by Shemiel Shai wants. Okay? And he's going to draw in whoever he wants. We don't, we don't, look, if it was up to us, man, we would, we, Jake would choose who he wants and kill everybody else, man. If it was up to us. But it's not up to us, man. It's up to Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because Jake got too much fucking mercy and compassion, man. It's not about us, man. Hey, hey, get Romans uh, 10 and 1. See, because that, that goes perfectly with what the brother just said. What, what did Paul say? Oh, God. What did Paul say? Go ahead. This Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and... He said, my heart's desire. Right? Go ahead. And prayer to Yahweh, power for Israel... Is that they might be saved. Is that they might be saved, man. Because what does it say? The Lord doesn't take pleasure in slaying the wicked, man. It says he would rather the wicked repent and come to righteousness. Just like you with your children. You really don't take pleasure in yeah, yeah, yeah. this whooping their ass. Yeah, yeah. You know? But you know that discipline is going to make them better in the long run. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, what? Hey, how about Shemyon Shai liken this unto a plant? He trimmed and groomed, he cuts off branches, he cuts off, you know, oh, trees, chopping down the trees, man, you know, and what do you do as a gardener when you have a plant? You, you're, you're pruning it, you're cutting branches so that it grows a certain way. You're cropping it because you want it to grow a specific way. Sometimes you got to get in, you know. You got to get rid of that shit. You got to get rid of it. Because it's sucking up your trees. Yeah, and if you crop it a certain way, they call it, uh, Fuck, I forget what they call it. You remember Javi that there with you? Yeah. I, I guess they call it like master cropping or something like that. Or they'll crop it a certain way and it'll make it grow bigger in the end. You know, I forget what they call it. But yeah, you crop it a certain way, it'll cause the branches to grow another way. And like when you first see the first node, you clip it and it'll shoot out three nodes. Uh -huh. And then you can do it again, and it'll become nine nodes. See? So yeah. That's what the Lord yeah. yeah. The Lord gets rid. See, because if you trim the fat, trim, ah. because what is fat? What fat weighs you down. You're trying to run. If you're too fat, you can't run that fast. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Well, the, Lord, the Lord accepts it as a sacrifice. Yeah. You're supposed to offer it as a sacrifice to the Lord. But isn't that what the two sons did? They left the fat on there? They were eating it with the blood. They were eating it with blood. They were eating it with blood. And then you had... Uh, in Exodus, they offered strange flesh. Yeah, it's like pigs. And yeah, they, they, yeah, they went on. But, but, okay. Hey, what does it say? Uh, uh, second, like, second Ezra 16 and uh, 70, 78, 75, 76. This is Second Ezra 16, 75. Probably 75. Be not afraid. Either don't. Yeah, you can start from Whoever wants to read it. Go ahead. Oh, this is 2nd Ezra uh, chapter 16, verse 75. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save Yahweh the Most High. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. See, so it says, Let not your sins weigh you down. And let not your iniquities lift up your sin. Why? Because sin weighs you down. And iniquity is a sin upon sin. You know? So it's, it's man, because Jake, Jake go off, man. Jake go off unknowingly, and Jake go off because of flesh, man. 
Hey, uh, uh, what's that scripture that wisdom will not dwell? Oh, that's in, uh, in uh, the Ecclesiastes. I propose it. I'll look it up. Wisdom will not dwell in the uh, uh, soul. soul. It is wisdom of Solomon. So it says, let not your sins weigh you down. Let your inequities not lift themselves up. Because you have to, you, you, you can't just keep on being a fuckhead, man. Because it's going to weigh you down. All right? It's going to slow you down. It's going to shut your eyes. It's going to put you back to sleep. All right? Sinning. Doing wickedness. All right? So this is a... Uh, Ecclesiastes 17 and 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell. Because if you're walking in sin, you're walking in darkness. The Lord is going to blind you. He's not going to let you see the truth. He's not going to let you allow you to grow. Like I was saying, if you got fat or if you got cancer, you get sick. What happens? You become bedridden. You can't move. All right? You get ailments. You get sores. That's what happens when you're a sinner, man, when you're wicked. Okay, now, we're all sinners, we go off, but we're not like these people. All right, we, we actually keep the law, statute of commandments. All right, there's a difference between us and these people. All right, we have the understanding of, of the scriptures. And so, well, that's why it tells you right here, I'm reading it again. Uh, Sirach 17 and 26, turn again to the Most High, and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, and hate thou abomination vehemently. So that's what we do, we hate abomination vehemently. So much so that we don't even want it to come into our minds, man. All right, because if you're just giving up, even if it's in your mind, if you're giving over the wickedness in your mind, how are you going to grow in the truth? How are you, the Lord is not going to show you things, man. He's going to put you, put your ass back to sleep. Eventually, he'll spill you out. No, unless the Lord, like Proverbs says, a, a righteous man falls seven times. Unless he leads you out of that darkness. But what do you have to do first? You have to cut off that sin. You have to cut off that iniquity. Turn back to your house by Shemuel Shai. And what? Hate thou abomination to him. Then he will lead you out of darkness into the light of hell. Which is the understanding of the sweet scripture. You just start getting revelations. You start, you be able to. Because, you know, when you're in sin, if you're doing wickedness, you'll, you'll feel like you can't even pray to the Lord. You feel like, man, you feel wicked for even opening your you, mouth. You read the scripture, you get cut, you you're get, like, oh. No. <laughs> ah, you know, that's what happens, man. The Lord will shut your fucking mouth, man. Because yeah, that's, that, that's how it was coming in the truth. Because, man, you come into the truth fresh, man, you're thinking the Lord going to destroy you for everything. Destroying you for wearing mixed fabrics. And, so you be bugging out like, oh, oh, oh. Hey, uh, uh. He said, because the Corinthians were so hard-headed, he said, if I have to come to you the third time, I will not spare you. You know what I mean? He said, I mean, he said in the scriptures, he says that I, I, I'm sad for the for for uh, rebuking you for like what I did, you know. But I'm also not sad because look at what carefulness it brought me. Look what godly sorrow. Did. So that was them getting rebuked for all the the carnality, the, the the wickedness that they were doing.